In this problem, we want to simplify the square root of negative 196. So the first step in a problem like this is to deal with the negative under the square root. Whenever you see a negative like this under a square root, it automatically becomes an i. So we'll write this as i, and then we have the square root of 196. Now, this is equal to i, and the square root of 196 is 14, so times 14. But nobody leaves the i in the front like this, so we want to write this as 14i. And so that would be the answer to this problem. However, there is a much faster way to do this. So ideally, you want to get to the point where you look at this and you say, okay, there's a negative under the root, and that's going to become an i. And the square root of 196, well, that's 14. So the answer is 14i. Again, you look at it, you say, oh, there's going to be an i because of this negative. The square root of 196 is 14. Therefore, the answer is 14i. It's much faster and much more efficient than the long way of doing it. And in more complex problems, you want to just be able to make this leap. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.